welcome to the Hillview Manor. It housed the county's mentally ill, severely destitute, and elderly residents in which many have passed away here. A young boy was among the first 20 patients. Although the home did not generally take children, no other record of him has been discovered. Ghostly sightings and paranormal phenomena such as shadows, scratch marks appearing at random is a common occurrence here. It seems to sit quietly at the top of the hill, evidence of his history remains active. This is where they would do the, prepare the body. And so if the patient bleeds, it'll go into little crevices here in the cracks and they could just drain the blood right at the end here. And I think here would have been a drain now there's still a lot to explore. This is just the beginning. Just now coming into this place. So apparitions, shadows, things being moved around. What also happened here? This place is a hotbed of activity as well, from what I'm told. And they also left a lot of trigger items here to help trigger certain spirits to Manipulate objects. That's pretty cool. I want to check out the chapel. It smells like something burnt in here. No, I don't. From what I remember, what she was telling me, not a lot of activity happens in the chapel area. Morley really on the, I guess the basement floor. Oh, there's another morgue. Second and third. This is pretty cool. Alright, so right now I'm headed to room 105, and this is Mary Virginia's room. She was a patient here um, that has cerebral palsy. However, everyone would leave things in her room because she was a very friendly, happy spirit. And if you would ask her what was her favorite necklace, one of the necklaces here out of the dozens would actually start moving. Um, that this should be very interesting to see. And as you can see, all the toys that people left behind. It's always good to leave a token of gratitude or uh, out of respect. And also to leave something for uh, her. That way she could, you know, I'm sure she would like it. And this is her here. That's an actual picture of Mary. This was actually the area where the nursing staff would stay out, where they would help the patients, but this is their area here. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Actually, the room where they actually stayed at in this place. Look at this. It's a little small room. You can actually see where I'm parked. What the hell is that?
would sound like something squeaking, but at the same time, I also heard what sounded like people talking. Now, I am going to be doing a complete night walk in the dark uh, with just a night vision camera, which I'm excited to try out. I haven't been to this side of the building yet. This looks like an exit for outside. This is completely off limits. For good reason. But I just heard a sound of a kid. I got some of my equipment up there. So if you're noticing a lot more light than what I'm seeing, that's because this building is equipped with night vision infrared lighting, which is lighting up my camera, which is good for you. Bad for me, because I can't see anything. Especially, that's some of my equipment there on the floor. Whoa. Oh, I thought I saw something on camera. That creeped me out. So basically, you see this? I don't see that light. You guys can see it, but that's a night vision camera. Got to be completely honest with you guys, but this place is actually very, very freaking terrifying. Now, this actually really reminds me of uh, Silent Hill. When the, I guess the room from Silent Hill. I don't know if you guys ever played that game. But the room from Silent Hill looks like this. Especially that there's nobody here. Oh wow, you can see my shadow from the exit sign behind me. Um, wow, that is terrifying. That's where I just walked from. I'm gonna walk over here now.
There goes that creepy looking at him. I'm gonna see if I can play the piano and see if I could instigate something else to happen. Because the lady said if people play the piano, they love it. And maybe that's what they want me to do. So I went ahead, I played the piano. Um, I hope that helped trigger something. In fact, personally I feel like this place got a little bit more lighter. I don't know if that's just me, psychologically, because uh, I played the piano, I guess. I don't know. But I had the night vision recording everything. Um, Something moving. I don't know if it came from in here. All right. Oh, crap. These are just triggers for paranormal, or if there was something seen here as a reflection. But I think that was sticking on the wall. That's just weird. Senior citizen, veteran, hospital, morgue, all in one. sound the only place that I think it's logical for this thing to that sound to be at is Jeffrey's room and this is Jeffrey's room look 208 Jeffrey the 9 and 12 year old were brought to the room 12 years ago this is where Jeffrey did you make a sound Jeffrey. 
Jennifer, can you move something in this room? Oh, Jeffrey, I'm going to kick a ball to you. That was me. I kicked that. I kicked that by accident. I'm sorry, Jeffrey. I, I want to watch my six here. There's nothing else over here. This is where a known spirit by the name of Eli actually roams these hallways. Um, I am going to be checking out my night vision cameras. But uh, this is... <laughs> that's freaking terrifying. <laughs> Just seeing how things are set up here. Turn off my flashlight here. Embalming room. Only during the time of the poor home. About after the staff would finish embalming the bodies, they would wrap them in a plastic and take them to the back and toss them into the ground. There's bodies all around this building. This is the embalming room. But again, this is not the room that I'm trying to take you guys to. Although this is pretty terrifying. I'm just curious. Okay. I'm sure it's all empty. I'm not touching that. This is how it looks like with all the lights off. This place is freaking terrifying. I think I found the appropriate staircase to the third floor. Immediately. Patient rooms. This is terrifying. All right, so this that I'm gonna take you to now is the morgue. You know, how creepy would it be if you just see somebody's feet right there? This here is the morgue. That was actually really, really hard to do. Or terrifying. Yeah, that's the morgue. This is room 303. John Robinson room. John jumped off the window right after room 301 at 9.30 in the morning. He didn't die immediately and was rushed to the Newcastle Ball. He died shortly after from injuries due to his fall. So this is the room where John jumped from. Right outside. Whoa. So I guess from one of these windows? That one looks the newest if you broke it.
John, was that you, buddy? Now, another thing I wanted to tell you guys is that these guys here, you're going to see a lot of stuff here. You see all this? These are all offerings for uh, Lester and Jimmy, which were the two pranks in this whole hospital uh, area or this manor. And they would always go around making noises, trying to scare people, doing jokes and stuff. Lester, Jimmy? John? I could hear movement. to now is a room uh, I believe it's 105 yes 105 which is Mary Virginia she's the woman who had cerebral palsy and she didn't have any family however she was in 105 and ever since she passed away in 2004 this room has had, had a lot of activity all right so right now I have the spirit box with me on Mary's bed I'm gonna see if I can try to communicate with her through the spirit box Hopefully I can catch her and be able to talk to her and not have other entities be able to come in and speak through the spirit box. Can you tell me which one's your favorite doll, Mary? <laughs> Mary, I, I, who else is here with me that's trying to come through? Found. Are are you a patient here? Were you someone who stayed here? Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Child. I want to appreciate and give thank you for you coming through tonight. For the train. For the train. I don't know if Mary's talking to me. Sleep. That is terrifying. I don't know who those are or who they are. At this point now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually explore the underground area and seeing what they have down there to explore. Apparently, there's some weird paranormal activity there as well to explore. So let's go ahead and head down there and see what we got. So right now, I'm making it to... The underground floor, where is oh, really cold. Apparently, she said the key word is to say that I'm supposed to ask them or tell them the spirits here that I'm here to check the boilers. Once I say that, apparently things get a little bit riled up and gets creepy, so I don't know how much. I don't know. I don't want to antagonize. It's not antagonizing, but apparently he doesn't like people checking the boilers. But let's look inside these rooms. Now the thing is, everything that you see in these rooms belonged to a patient here. All the mattresses. away their belongings still stayed here like this shoe or a luggage was just stored in here I think wow what 
is that? I just heard something over here. So now I'm going to ask the question that I shouldn't ask. I'm here to check the boilers. Do you mind me checking the boilers? If you don't want me to, just let me know. You mind if I fix a boiler? to maintain these used to get drunk and passed out and they brought him inside and he was actually dead by alcohol poisoning I'm here to maintain the boilers you mind me fixing the boilers That is some creepy shit. It's checkup day, so I gotta check the boilers, make sure they're working nice. So that way we could keep this place warm. Unless it's a water boiler and keep the water warm. Alright, I'm gonna come back out. Boiler checkup season. I don't know if those are rats or am I hearing something creepy. Oh look, people left things here because he was a Steelers fan. That is awesome. Oh my god. I just got a legit ball that just came from this location. I don't even see anything or hear anything, but I just got. There's another ball there. I'm looking everywhere here. I don't think I have an explanation what that was. I'm actually moving the ball now. Did you did you throw that at me or did you throw move that from somewhere? Do you not want me to check the boilers? I'm going to have to come back here because I'm actually completely running out of time. And, uh, look, I want you to see there's nothing here. That clearly came.
from this side, I saw the ball roll out. And these are the boilers. I want to, I want to thank you so much for being able to contact and communicate with me. I'm sorry I won't check the boilers. But I appreciate your, your effort in letting me know that you don't want me to check the boilers. That was something. Thank you so much for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys like what you saw. I'm actually out of time. My, I'm, I'm supposed to be heading back now because uh, it's actually go time. They have to lock up. But thank you so much for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys like what you've seen. And like always, like, subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.